Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sprite One Four Five, and I'm bringing you a Medal of Honor gameplay because I can. And I genuinely don't know what the classes are and what the weapons are, but I know that I do enjoy this game when you get a decent fire team buddy. Playing without a fire team buddy, even a Randy, is shit. But no, I've somewhat found my um, forte. And it's the same as COD really, it's sort of domination, or well, this game's domination, is sector control. It's a bit different to how Medal of Honor 2010 did it, because I think Medal of Honor 2010 did it, it's the same way COD did it. This way it has it on a time limit, and on a point limit. The point limit is 150, the time limit is 15 minutes, so obviously, you know, there's a bit of a... Oh, did I get a double kill? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, I'm too good at this game already. Um, <coughs> I know I'm running like the... I don't think it's the point man class. The heavy gunner something that shoots people. <laughs> but no, this is about eight and a half, nine minutes of um, me playing cautiously, but at the same time playing the objective, helping my team out, killing things. <laughs> and having a bit of fun. Yeah, it's not often I actually actually do that well. I get reasonable games, average games, not great games. I wouldn't say this is a great game, but this is one of the better games I've had. And I'm sort of pinned down. In fact, fuck it, I'm not going to talk about the gameplay because if you're watching the gameplay, you'll see that I'm pinned down and <laughs> whatnot. But basically. I'm sort of at my nan's home for the entire week. It's a back and forward week, but I'm at home. I think the plan, my plan is work for the morning slash afternoon, depending on when I um, wake up. And then get video games, or get some video gaming done in the evening. And before I start playing, um, or before I start doing work, we do the um, do, do a commentary. Because, you know, it's a good plan. Because then I can get coursework done. I know what I need to do for my coursework. It's a practical report on some really random shit that I genuinely don't really give a fuck about. But, apparently I have to give a fuck about it for uni. Um, no, that's skill acquisition. Aha. Uh -huh. Health and exercise. Introductory physiology. So I need... I need to get my practical booklet out. And nope, we haven't done that one. Oops. Cardiovascular responses to exercise. Okay. Nice mm -hmm. Yep. <coughs> Alice, we are race tracking off stage now or never. Okay, so I found my practical book clip. This this assignment actually doesn't seem too difficult because I've done similar things before. I know roughly what I need to do for these particular assignments. Thanks. The one good thing about this class is backing, but sidetracking a bit, is you can go and resupply anyone and you get a bit of a few points for it. Ten points isn't a lot. I don't actually know what the official numbers are for score score streaks in this game, score chains, but. I think this game's a bit more fun than Medal of Honor 2010. There's a lot more customization and it's more interesting. <coughs> Apologies if my voice seems to be croaky. I'm sort of halfway between the onset of a cold and not having a cold. So, you know, <laughs> it does suck a bit. This is one of those games. But I didn't want to go completely ham and balls deep, but at the same time I was playing aggressive enough that I did well. And normally the LMG classes don't work. I don't know how I killed that guy. I really don't. <laughs> but, as you can see, <coughs> sort of running between the objectives. I do like the game, I really do. I'm glad I've got it. The sniping isn't great. And 
at the moment you can't type to anyone but your fire team buddy, even though there is an option in the game for type all and uh, chat all and chat team. So obviously, games like this, I would very much like to be able to rage at my teammates. <laughs> you know, or not games like this actually. Uh, I've had games where you blind teammates are blind. Excuse me. Um, I promise I'm not tired. I don't know whether I addressed the fact I've been having some sleeping issues <coughs> in my last commentary, but I have been having a few sleeping issues. It's not been the greatest week in a bit in terms of, uh, <coughs> you know, <coughs> actually health and mental state wise, but you know. It's good. I'm good. <coughs> or as good as I can be. Now, I'm not really doing much in terms of killing everyone. I get a reasonable score at the end. Uh, <coughs> I do enjoy the uniqueness of like the offensive score change. I really do. The defensive ones, I think, are all the same per class, but offensive ones are unique to <coughs> to whatever class you're running. So now I think the sniper or recon kit has some suicide bomb UAV, uh, mortar strike, something else. Oh, fucking fail. I genuinely don't know where I called it in or what I did with it. <coughs> but I've sort of made it my goal. Sit on C, the centre objective, and just not worry about anybody else. So now I have unlimited ammo. Oh. I Both my weapons are unlimited ammo. If I bipod my machine gun down, I've got unlimited ammo and unlimited ammo, if that makes sense. One thing I do like about this game is the music. That's one thing I will give it. And <coughs> apologies, there is no intro. Tran has, I think, promised, not really promised, but promised to make me a new set of intros with new music that's like royalty free, everything. It's good music as well. You know. Because he's such a nice person. <laughs> yeah, I know, Trent, nice. <laughs> Good joke. It's all about patience. If you can get the jump on someone, usually you kill them. I've had the jump on people before and they've killed me and it's like, what the fuck? There's no kill cams, no... Well, there is a kill cam. But not a kill cam, kill cam, like a COD kill cam that shows you their position, it shows you where they were when they killed you. But other than that, you don't really see much. I genuinely don't know how I killed him either. But <coughs> that's an 11 and 0, flawless sector control with one flag cap, 1800 points in total. Wasn't the best, but still it's a flawless. So that's my first Medal of Honor game, guys. Spartan for five, signing out, and peace.